Yeah, um, the main thing that we were talking about was just playing our, our football. Um, you know, we had some miscues uh, down the way, but um, we're going to watch the film and make sure that we get those handled for sure. Uh, Marcus, what particularly was going wrong the, uh, the first couple drives and how were you able to sort of get back on track towards the middle of the game and uh, uh, limit the Texans when you were able to? Um, the main thing that we had going on was uh, just, you know, not playing our football. You know, we had guys, you know, doing different things and everything. But uh, one thing that we do pride ourselves in is accountability. So, you know, the next man will tell you, hey, you know, we need to do this. And, you know, there's no egos when it comes down to it, you know. We love the way that we critique each other, so we try to do that on a down-to-down -down basis. But after that, it started kind of going the way that we wanted it to go on the defensive side, but uh, we just can't put ourselves in a hole. Hey, Marcus, I want to ask you about the interception, you know, the, the, the ball off the hand of Schultz with Marte covering in the end zone. Can you take us through that play? And when you have the ball in your hands in that situation, you were in a similar spot in Cincinnati in the fumble recovery. What, what is your thought process at that point? Yeah, uh, first off, it was a great play uh, by Tay. Um, he ended up putting the hands where he needed to and everything. Uh, I ended up catching the ball, and I was trying to go all the way. <laughs> I seen some of the guys that was blocking and everything like that, DG and all those guys out there, so I was trying to find a crease and everything, but uh, came up short. Back to Dan Roach. What do you take out of a day like this? Obviously, you guys are one and five, not where you want to be. But Hunter mentioned that he's seen teams turn things around and get it going. What would you like to take out of this one? How do you get better on defense when the, you take the trip to London? And uh, maybe a thought on what you saw from Drake May, bringing a little bit of excitement to the offense. Yeah, even though you know the game didn't go how we wanted it to go, there were some great things that happened in the game to where you know we need to do it on a consistent basis. Um, in the National Football League, you know the margin for error is very slim. Uh, and the thing is, is that, you know, we got to make sure we go back. Anything that we didn't have handled, we got to practice it, make sure we get it right for next week. Final question, Alan Siegel. Marcus, you guys had a couple of defensive pass interference calls early. I'm not going to ask you about the calls, whether they were good or not. But because they were called early, does that give you a mindset that your aggressiveness, you, you take it off a little bit the rest of the game, figuring the officials are going to be looking at it? Um, I wouldn't say that our uh, aggressiveness goes away. It's just the situation of uh, resetting. Um, at the end of the day, you know, the referee calls the call, and, you know, if it's a foul, it's a foul, and you just got to go to the next play.